Hey guys, quick news drop update from the man himself, Scott, who posted on Discord at 8 14 a.m. Eastern Standard Time about quote unquote managing the community's expectations on what kind of content will be added to the game at the Meta Quest release on February 8th. And for those of you who don't already know, this will include Wipe. Now it seems like to me here, from what Scott wrote, he is trying to explain that we shouldn't expect a huge amount of content from this Meta Quest release, stating that the game we are playing now largely represents what we will experience at launch, but that roughly two weeks after. After February 8th, which is Wipe, which is the release on the MetaQuest store, around February 22nd, we should expect a huge amount of content from what I'm seeing, and I'll have to break down a few of the things notable and that I'm really excited for. Starting off with the character reconnect system, this meaning if you do desync out of the game, you will be able to load back into the game without losing without your character dying essentially, and that you will be able to continue your play session in that raid. To me, this is a long awaited feature and I really hope it's implemented correctly and it works well. Um, desync and like your game crashing hasn't been much of an issue recently because these guys are making this game, are working really hard to make this game very playable. But if you do have, you know, shitty internet or something and you need to reconnect into the game, at least you'll know that you won't lose your gear unless somebody finds your character and kills them. There's also gear and major performance optimization. This might mean that if you kill somebody, uh, their gear won't just like float in the air or just might mean that gear works as intended. You know, no more floating backpacks, no more uh, guns hanging in your hand when you're trying to aim them, losing tracking and stuff like that. Maybe just a variety of bugs that gear can contribute to in the game. There is also advanced suppressor attaching and detaching mechanisms. I assume they are doing this to contribute to the realism of the game and I assume this will involve physically unscrewing and rescrewing on suppressors. So uh, that'll take some time if you feel the need of doing it in raid, although I don't see the reason why you would, but you know, it adds a little bit of realism. It's a bit, little bit of a nice quality of life thing. Now a huge one I was not expecting this early in the game's development is flashbangs and I guess a rework to smokes or different kinds of smokes, but flashbangs are huge because grenades are kind of useless right now, I feel, just with, uh, you know, uh, their damage radius and the way they pop, they're just annoying. I don't like to use them. Clearing rooms is gonna be way better with flashbangs as opposed to grenades that are likely not to do anything when you're trying to clear a room. This will add so much strategy and a different uh, angle to how you like to play this game. I'm really excited for that. Another couple of huge ones is Maka expansions with two new interiors and a maka underground which comes with a maka phoenix boss these are huge i think you know it's going to be the rest of maka and yes and the underground subway sewer system with the boss i hear he has a flamethrower or something like that that'll be really really cool what i'm not seeing here is the um ui rework or the ai rework um so i guess the ai is going to continue being kind of stupid and easy to kill for the time being i'm sure they're going to fix this soon enough I'll try to run through the rest of these pretty quick because this video is going to go on really, really long. But there's also new and improved NRS system. Uh, maybe they're adding new injectors, something like that, that do different things to your character. Um, there is a new chapter selection for videos in the tutorial, a more stable saving system, which is nice. Um, a new whiteboard system and potentially more. That is very exciting. I am looking forward to all of these new content and features added to the game two weeks after February 8th or around two weeks. Let's, you know, Scott's whole point of this post is to manage our expectations, not to expect a whole slew of new content, but that this is around generally the stuff that you can expect. Give or take, he says, they might take some stuff out. They might add some stuff in. So. I'm looking forward to it. I hope they add a new map. I'm kind of doubtful at this point, but they could. Anyway, there's one last thing I forgot to mention, and it's the in-house built streamer cam system. I don't know what this is. Could somebody please educate the rest of the community and everybody here on YouTube of what that is and how that will help anybody? I, I just, I'm sorry, I haven't read about it. I literally made this video coming off of work and I just don't know anything about this. So. Uh, uh, let us know in the comment section below what that is. I also want to mention to you guys that I stream this game almost every single day here on YouTube or over on Twitch. I hope to see you guys there. I will talk to every single person who messages me over there. So please stop by. Let's hang out, shoot the shit, and I look forward to wipe and I'll see you there.